If you're a resident of the city of Las Cruces, you probably get your utility bill every month. Well, do you ever wonder how the city determines how much they're going to charge you? In this episode of City Jobs, we'll follow around a service reader to help show you how your bill is determined. Well, I'm here with Joseph Martinez, a service reader with the city of Las Cruces in the utilities department. And today we're learning about uh, getting your gas and water meters read, correct? Yes. What does that entail exactly? Well, it pretty much means that we come out every day on a daily basis and we just get the readings and we figure out the usage. And what we do is we turn it in and then that's how you get billed from the customer. Okay, so what is it that you're using to help read these meters? Well, what we're using today is the handheld and it's uh, pretty much tells us what we need to do. It's got the cycle in it and then it also has what we're going to do. It's got the route, so we come out here and it tells us where we need to be and what meters we're going to read. And how many would you say that go into this machine every day? Well, we have an average, I mean, the route could have a thousand, it could have 200, just depends on the area that you're in. You know, for area around here, we got about 400 meters, so that's what we're gonna read today. And when you say meters, you're talking about gas and water, so it's yeah. not like one house is one set of meters, it's two meters. Yeah, we're gonna be reading both gas and water today. Okay, well, let's get to it. Let's uh, see what we're going to be doing today. All right, well, this is our handheld, and if you wanna take it, and this is gonna be what we're gonna to use to open up the meter box. So it first shows you that we're looking for a water reading, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then what do you do here? And then right here, we just use the stick, and I don't know if you wanna take it and uh -huh. pop it open. Is it pretty difficult to do this? Uh, no, give it a little pop, and, yeah, and then you just oh. get it out of the way. So what is it that we're looking for when we pop this open? Well, right here is we got the meter, the meter number, which it shows right here on the machine, the meter number. And then, all right, so it matches, so you flip it up, open, and then right here you have your, your numbers of everything. Okay, so it goes, um, you, you've you read this meter, what, 30 days ago or about a month ago? Yeah, we read it a month ago. And the way we're gonna read it is we're gonna read it from, we're just reading these numbers right here, not the ones in the black, because those are gonna be like our hundreds. These are ones, tens, hundreds, so we start from the thousands. So we have nine, eight, four, zero. So that's how we're gonna punch it into the machine. Do you ever get, do you ever find people are concerned that you're walking onto their property? Oh, definitely, it's a daily thing. People come out and they ask what we're doing and why we're here and I just, you know, we have to let them know that we're here to just read the gas meter and they're pretty much fine with it most part. And you never get a hard time? Um, once in a while, but usually everyone's pretty much okay with it and they're willing to just let us come on the property. Okay, so we have our other meter box. This is the gas meter? Yes, this is the gas meter right here. And what we're also looking for is, this is gonna be our meter, our uh, meter number right there. And then right here is where we're gonna pick up our reading. So what we do is we look at it and this is gonna be our hundreds right here and then our thousands and our hundred thousands and all that. So what we do is we read it four, six, three. So if we wanna punch that in. And then again, we just wanna make sure that this number lines yeah, up. Yeah, wanna okay. make sure those line up. So, okay, so four, six, three, and hit enter again? Yes. Okay. All right, let me check the usage on that, see what we have. Uh, we got a usage of 12. Um, it's the winter time right now, so it looks like it's pretty good. I mean, maybe if there's a, like a 23 or a 35 or something, then it looks outrageous and you, you might have concerns and, you know, there's a possibility that it's running too fast or something. And what we do is we just kind of document it on the machine and then it goes to customer service. And so will customer service call the customer and say, we just want to make sure everything's going okay uh, or? They usually send it out for a field check. Okay. Sometimes on a route, you can encounter something unexpected. Oh wow, there's a dog. Do you encounter many dogs on your route? Oh, definitely. We come across dogs all day, every day. Have you ever found any that are ferocious or angry? Or Yeah, uh, for the main part, they're usually going to be pretty ferocious. I mean, they don't know us, so they're right away going to be kind of hesitant towards what we're going to do. But Overall, do you find that most homeowners are responsible with their pets? 
Yeah, they're pretty responsible. They keep them, you know, behind the fence or they'll keep them tied up or they'll come outside and they'll, you know, hold them back or take them inside for us. What, so the overall objective is get the meter read and go. Yeah, so get the meter as safe as possible with our safety and the dog's safety as well. So you just try to get in there and get out pretty quick. Yes. Okay, so let's take this reading right here. This one looks like four, one, one, two. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And we have a usage of 12, so. And you said that sounds about right for this time of yeah, year. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Everything looks good. So now if we're in the summertime, what would a normal reading be? Um, usually you'll get around a zero, a one, or a two, depending on if they're cooking a lot or, you know, but usually it's, it's gonna be around a one or a two or a zero. And do you find that a lot of this um, usage is for a heating component for the house? Or? Yeah, I mean, it'll be for maybe the, like the water heater or the stove. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right. Well, I know you have about 16 more meters to read before you get from this neighborhood to the next one. So um, how many do you actually read a day? What is the most you've read? The most I've read is 1,050. That many? Yes. Okay, well, that's uh, quite a bit, and your quota is 450. 450, All right, yeah. well, Joseph, thank you very much for letting me tag along with you today. I certainly did learn a lot from you. That. Thank you very much. All right. Well, I certainly did learn a lot about what goes into getting the readings for your utility bills here at the city of Las Cruces. It takes a lot of water reading, gas reading, and going through neighborhoods, interacting with people, dogs, all sorts of things. If there's a city job that you'd like to learn more about, contact us at clctv.com.